Hi, this is Michael at TV Radio 1972, and on Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022, I reached 1,500 subscribers. So I want to thank everyone for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it very much. And on this 1,500 plus subscribers edition, I am reviewing the Insignia NSHD01A FM HD Pocket Radio. I bought this at Best Buy for $49.99 plus tax back around 2012. Um, at least judging by the day of the firmware of this radio as well as the copyright day of the manual. So this radio is approximately 10 years old. Here's the radio in front of me. And uh, I'll tell you what came with the radio. It came with a belt clip, mini USB cable, as well as earbuds. But uh, I don't know where any of those are. They must be around somewhere. But I still have the manuals. And I'll show you them. Quick setup guide in both English and Spanish. So here's the English. And here's the Spanish. I also have the user guides of both English and Spanish. Here they are right here. I'll give you the dimensions. Uh, two and a quarter inches in length, three and one eighth inch in height, and three quarters of an inch in depth. And I'll show you some size comparisons because uh, this one is the third and final of the three HD pocket radios that Insignia made. So, I will compare the size to the NSHD01, which was the first radio that came out. I'm going to unplug this for now. They pretty much have the same LCD display screens. And then the NSHD02, which was the touchscreen version. And I'm also going to show you the Sanjin DT400W pocket radio because I want to show you the time 11 17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 0417 UTC from the northeastern part of New Jersey. So I want to show you the time that I'm doing this review. So I'm going to tell you what's on the radio itself. The HD radio logo here. LCD screen here. Insignia logo here. Then uh, these two buttons, I'll use this to point out. These are the tuning up and down buttons. Then this button over here is the power on and off button. And then you have your search tuning up and down. Now these can also be used to navigate the menu as well as these two buttons here. Then your enter guide button here in the middle, which you can enter while you're in the menu or as a guide button while you tune into an HD radio station. Then Right here on the bottom right is the menu button, and on the right is your preset buttons up and down, and they take up to 10 presets. Now, on the left, you have your mini USB jack and your hold up and down switch. Now, this uh, mini USB jack is used to charge the internal lithium battery of this radio. And on the right, you have your volume up and down buttons. And over here is your reset button in case the radio malfunctions. You can use a pen or a paper clip to reset that radio. And then right here is your headphone jack, which can be used... Uh, not only for listening, but 
also when you use earbuds or an auxiliary cable for reception. So you need earbuds or an auxiliary cable for reception. Headphone experience is pretty good. It's in stereo. And then on the bottom, nothing. And then on the back, some piece of rubber in the uh, corners probably to prevent it from sliding. And then this label here, you're not going to be able to see it because it's so worn out these days. But I'll tell you what is on the label itself. On the label, it has your Insignia logo, your model number, the input of 5 volts, 500 milliamps, the battery, which is a lithium battery, 3.7 volts at 750 milliamp hours. Then it has the address and made in China. And then I'll show you the serial number, which I'll have to put back in focus here, right here. That was uh, the serial number. So, what I'm going to do next, uh, just to tell you what the FM is, the FM is 87.5 to 107.9 megahertz and 200 kilohertz steps. Next, I'm going to turn on the radio, uh, but I'm going to uh, use this auxiliary connection in here for reception. And have it connected to an Eton Elite Executive in which I can get my sound out of. That's pretty much the easiest way I can put the sound now. Now the thing about this is I'm going to have to hold it in an angle because there is no brightness adjustment on this. So it's not going to come out very good. I'll show you. When I turn on this radio, you see it's not going to turn out all that good. But if I turn it in an angle like this, then, then you'll see the display better. But what I'm going to do now, um, I'll have the sound down for now. And, and uh, I'll show you what's on the radio when it's displayed. Now... What it will show is the station information, whether it's a program or a song, the call airs of the station, lock scale below it, frequency and call letters, that's all in the middle. Below that is HD1. Now, if there's no other HD channels, you won't see a plus. When there's more than one HD channel, you'll see a plus until there's no more. You see there's an HD2, HD3. It'll allow up to four HD channels. On the bottom, volume icon, the volume level, either HD seek or all seek. And then on the top, you have your signal indicator, FM icon, HD logo, and your battery indicator. I also wanted to show you a channel in which it uses the RDS function. There it is, 102.3. They'll either show the station information or programming that's on there. And you see that infinity icon right here? That is where it'll show RDS information if available for that channel. If you cannot get an HD signal, that's a pretty neat feature. Then it'll also show the uh, frequency and calls. And also on an HD channel, if I press the enter button, you can actually scroll down the channels you wish. So you don't have to, uh, you can put in line format here. But I'm going to keep it like this format. So what I'm going to do next is the menu. I'm going to press the menu button. And then you can go through these menu options. Going to try to focus a little better. Here it is. LCD off time. You press enter. And you can set it to 10. 
20, 30, 45, or 60 seconds using either these keys or these keys. Press enter. I'll leave it all on for now. Then I can do the seek select. Press enter. You can either use all or HD. I'm going to use all. And then the version is your firmware. I'll press enter. And that is your firmware. And um, actually, the brightness isn't too bad right now to show the firmware, but it was made in January 24, 2012. So, yep, it's about 10 years old, this radio. And then I'll go back to Menu, Factory Default. And I should have pressed Entered. You can either default or not default. I won't default it. I'm just going to put no. And there it is. And now I'm going to go on with the band scan. Which may be a little hard to do because of music on this band. But I'm going to try my best not to get copyright on any of these. So. So I'll start the scan. That's WBGO Jazz 88, Newark, New Jersey, only one HD channel. WFDU Teaneck, New Jersey with three HD channels. WKCR New York City, only one HD channel. I don't think the HD is going to lock in on WFUV. I'm going to try. Because of this connection, it's better on earbuds or headphones. No, it's not going to lock in. WNYL New York City, Alt 92.3 HD1, New Arrivals HD2, and on HD3, uh, Channel Q. So... WPAT Patterson, New Jersey. Now there's HD1 and its HD2 channel is delayed by a minute or two. The job. So if you are injured on the job in an accident setting, which means you're on the job working in your ordinary course of the day and you slip and fall, or if you're on a construction site. WNYC New York City, 93.9 HD1, a simulcast of WQXR and HD2, 
and a simulcast of WNYCAMA 20 on HD3. She confided in me like, oh, that was so scary. What happened again? WXBK Newark, New Jersey, 94.7 to Block HD1, and New York Country, 94.7 HD2. WPLJ New York City, K Love HD1, K Love 90s HD2, Air 1 HD3, and The Bridge HD4. Dr. Tony Evans says reconciliation doesn't require us to abandon our culture and our customs. You get back to a divine standard and it don't take off. WXNY FM New York City, La Equis 96.3 on HD1, Simulcast at 1280WADO, and then Russian Pro on HD three and four. En casa, al enfrentarse a los tuzos del Pachuca en el Estadio Jalisco, después el conjunto de Atlético San Luis quiere sumar sus primeros puntos como local frente a las Chivas Rayadas del Guadalajara. Y en closet with your AirPods in, having your own worship service. W-A-R-W, Port Chester, New York. Uh, I'm not sure if the HD will lock in, but on HD1 is Air 1, Caleb 2000 on HD2, and Rayo Nueva Vida on HD3. WQHT New York City, high 97, only one HD channel. WSKQ New York City, mega 97.9, only one HD channel. WAWZ Zarafath, New Jersey, but I don't think the HD is going to lock because there's an unlicensed station nearby at 99.3. So that's going to block the HD channel. Yeah, it came in and it came out, so... WHTZ Newark, New Jersey, C100, only one HD channel. WCBS FM, New York City, there are classic hits on HD1. WCBS 880 on HD2, 
and True Oldies on HD3. Schumer pushing for over $6 billion in aid to get to Ukraine as soon as next week. WFAN FM New York City, Sports Radio 101.9 on HD1, and CBS Sports Radio on HD2. You're right. After I watched the garbage, you know, when you watch the Knicks lose, no way, or not having an eye, any uh, thinking, yeah, I don't know what's out of the gray white yonder, but let me walk away from 8 million. Nah, yeah, maybe I get a buck or two from doing games. No, I had an idea that there were some people who were interested in him. Um, that was the life of the disciples had. They were called up. Actual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. WNEW New York City, uh, New 1027 on HD1, Smooth Jazz 1027 HD2, and 1010 wins on HD3. Infused with skincare super ingredient collagen. Only. facial reconstruction surgeries because of Dr. Leon Klempner, a retired Port Jefferson orthodontist. Klempner is the founder of a non-profit organization, Smile Rescue Fund for Kids. By faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Peter, I don't first of all call myself a Jew. WKTU Lake Success, New York. 103.5 KTU HD1, Pride Radio HD2, and The Breeze HD3. The mass transit, where uh, large portions of the country don't have access to mass transit, then the burning gasoline is not really an option. WAXQ New York City, Q104, 1043 HD1 and 710 WR HD2. It's going to come out of this pandemic. It's already happening. It's reshaped. Mm -hmm. It's single-handedly reshaped the way we get work done. WWPR FMHD1, which is Power 1051, Russian Rayon HD2, and Black Information Network on HD3. Rodney Harrison announced the launch of the Data Transparency Hub, which allows residents to track department graphics and data related to traffic stops or hate crimes. Ballone says the Suffolk PD is not shying away from the facts. The new data hub is part of Suffolk County's commitment to reimagine policing. <laughs> WQXR Newark, New Jersey. It has two classical channels on HD1 and HD2. WLTW New York City. 1067 Light FM HD1 and iHeart Radio Broadway on HD2. Right now, right here, this is Sean Paul at number five with Dynamite! WBLS 
New York City, uh, 1075 WBLS HD1. And then on HD2, it's airing a combination of Joni Mitchell and Neil Young songs alternating. This is probably because they're doing a hit and dig on Spotify because those were the two artists, Neil Young and Joni Mitchell, that wanted their music off of Spotify. So probably a hit and dig at them. Just saying. Just... That is an unlicensed station on 107.9. I'm getting that instead of WEBE in Connecticut. So uh, that is it for the band scan, but I wanted to do one more thing. If I want to pre set up a preset, long press either PS button, plus or minus, and then search up and down the presets and I can set on a channel that I want. I'll just press long press again. And it's saved. And that's where your preset channels are saved. That's it for the band scan. I'll give you an FM reception report. I got 55 stations. Uh, which uh, overall performed about the same as the other two pocket radios, uh, 55 total stations, 46 okay to good, 9 weak signals, although I noticed during this band scan and during my test, I actually got more unlicensed stations. So that's why I'm saying performance is about the same, because when I did the test, I had 4 unlicensed stations on this one, and the other two on my two. But we're talking about testing the other two rays in 2020, and this is 2022. So I'll say they performed about the same. As far as my final thoughts for this radio is, uh, if you can get this pocket radio or either of these two pocket radios at a reasonable price on eBay or other uh, places, since they no longer make these radios, uh, I'd say I recommend you can go ahead and do it but I do advise that uh, chances are, for HD channels, uh, earbuds or headphones will work better than this auxiliary cable connection. So would I recommend it? Yes, I would recommend it. And um, since they don't make this radio anymore, I won't rate it. But I just wanted to show you this radio, this pocket HD radio that I have. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so you get notified on videos uh, going on for my channel on upcoming videos. So have a good weekend, everyone. Stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye.